Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his own presence at the wedding at Cana in Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scriptures commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the comfort given to one another in prosperity and in adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Judy Abel and Richard Pinnell now come to be joined. Judy, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And Richard, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. And will all of you who are witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? If so, answer, we will. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and ever living God, you have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the, Holy, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading comes from Ruth, the first chapter. But Ruth said, Do not press me to leave you, or to turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. There will I be buried. May the Lord do thus and so to me, and more as well, if even death parts me from you. The second reading comes from Revelations chapter 19. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. To her it has been granted to be clothed with fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. Here ends the readings. On the front of the invitation, and now I see also the bulletin, is a drawing of a castle. It is certainly not a menacing fortress. It is a palace for a prince and a princess. With turrets and spires that reach to the heavens, with flags of celebration flowing in the gentle breeze, a haven of happiness and joy. However, a castle nonetheless 
is strong and sturdy and resilient and a place of shelter. A place of safety and sanctuary, if you will, of refuge and retreat.